If you want to build cannonball delts from handstand push-ups, try out these simple form tips. You don't need skill or balance. First of all, stop balancing yourself in the air like an acrobat. There is no need to do this if you only care about hypertrophy. Do your handstand push-ups against the wall always. This is superior on every possible level because you are increasing stability. Multiple points of contact, you don't have to balance in any kind of way. Zero coordination demands, pure dummy proof strength, force reduction of the shoulders and triceps is as high as ever going to be. Make the switch, you won't go back unless you're specifically trying to look cool or learn other skills that are somewhat connected. Just stop, you're wasting your time. There's no added benefit, you don't need to do both. Just one is sufficient to grow your shoulders. Also, make sure your back is facing the wall in the starting position, and then kick yourself up this way. You see how easy that is? Anyone can do it. You bring those hands back, now you're completely vertical, you're ready to kick some ass. I know many calisthenics athletes prescribe it the other way around, but to me, that's dangerous. You can easily fall backwards and break your neck. And it's so hard to get into that starting position. I have immense difficulties doing so. Whereas the wall, you saw what that took. Two seconds. Whether you're heavy or not, you can gradually raise those feet up the wall. And then you have a perfect reference point with the tiptoes and heels, just dragging straight up and down. E Z. And if you start to lose some of that verticalness, you're still wall supported. You're not going to tip back and have to prematurely stop your set and not reach muscular failure for the target tissue. You want to grow your delts? Push them to the limit with this angle. I'm telling you, it's the best. I've always done my handstand push ups in this way. That's it. I don't want you doing it off the floor. Whether your head is straight like this or even you try to get it with your chin, check out the arm bend. It's a partial rep. You're barely getting any range of motion. And if I were to ask you, is quarter rep overhead pressing optimal? Would you recommend this on any other vertical press? No. So why are you doing this on a handstand pushup? Because it's tradition? Break the tradition. Do what's logical. And the only way you're ever gonna maximize those delts is by having those arms come low exactly like an overhead press, meaning, you need to do deficit handstand push-ups. The only guys who use this partial rep form are those who aren't able to do forearm yet. It's a progressive range of motion strategy. But if you're able to easily band these out and you're like, oh, I'm a beast. No, you haven't done the real deal. So this is what you actually need. Plyometric boxes or chairs or parallels, whatever gets your hands elevated. This is number one. And you'll want to set them a good six inches away from the wall. Now to get up, you want to grab the tips of the front edge, not back here and aggressively use your legs to get here, okay? So now you get vertical, put those hands back, I'm on my tiptoes, full range of motion. See, I can get my head touch the ground. You wanna leave a little bit of tension right here, press right back up. See, my feet are just dragging. Sometimes they can even fall back a bit, but you wanna keep it just skinning. Now what's also key is what you do with your head. Don't extend it this way or else there's a natural tendency to arch your back. So try to maintain a little bit of hollow body, neutral head, keep it there. And you'll notice I'm able to stay very vertical. Ooh. Remember, wherever the head goes, the body will follow. That said, I do want to mention that there's nothing wrong with arching your back. And I actually don't recommend maintaining a 100% vertical torso angle. Around 80 degrees or so, is superior for lengthening the anterior delts. So I'm just telling you to keep things mostly straight because that's harder by default. You're getting more out of your body weight and as you fatigue, you'll inevitably modify your leverages to make the exercise easier. This is normal, do not be alarmed. Instead, record yourself and track these repetitions. Maybe in a 10 rep set, seven of them were perfect. Whereas the last three, you were arching your back like a banana, it is what it is. Well, now you know what can be improved upon. In this way, it's auto-regulated progression. You don't need to wear a weight vest. Just clean up your form over time. And trust me, you're not gonna be perfect right off the bat. I can guarantee you that. Like even where you place your hands, this is the most difficult positioning, but the middle is fine as well. So you can inch your way back as well as modify the torso angle. So you don't wanna be doing this, okay? This is not a proper handstand push-up. You're obviously ego lifting and I can do this all day. You want to be close to the edge, 
you want to be somewhat vertical but if you do arch your back a little bit that's okay so this position here you're not going to see me complain it's good enough honestly don't stress about a couple degrees it's only a problem when you're literally doing a high decline pike push-up hybrid lastly if you're a true beast then i recommend pause reps in the bottom anyone who can do this is gonna have a really strong overhead press the carryover is immense and it effectively cups your rep count by half so if you can normally bang out reps at 12 you might even struggle to get five this way like you really gotta grind your life away so freaking hard to like the position like it's difficult to even talk why do i do this for you guys <sighs> oh my god like anyone who tells me you can get equivalent gains over at pressing from calisthenics has obviously never done this exercise pausing this will build anyone's delts from a recreational lifter elite calisthenics athletes or professional bodybuilder at the highest level it's guaranteed growth if you get strong also slowly lower yourself on the way down and make sure you're actually holding not just doing this like i don't even need my hands i'm not putting any pressure on the shoulders so you gotta maintain that tension so you're actually struggling and then boom, boom. you see what it is to get down by the way you put your head here and you bring your knees down so simple so that's it guys you're officially set to build big shoulders from handstand push-ups hope you learned a lot let me know which tips were most helpful and which exercise you want me to cover next